In oxygen steel making, molten iron is refined to steel by removing carbon and impurities, most notably silicon, manganese, phosphorus and or sulfur, by controlled oxidation. When the iron ore contains less than around 0.5% phosphorus, phosphorus removal during oxygen steel making is insignificant and gives rise to an acidic slag. When the iron ore contains around 2.5% phosphorus, which is more common, significant phosphorus removal during oxygen steel making does occur, giving rise to a basic slag. In this case, the oxygen steel making process becomes known as basic oxygen steel making. Molten iron is transported from the blast furnace to the steel plant via torpedo cars. At the steel plant, the molten iron is transferred from the torpedo car to a ladle. The molten iron is usually pre-treated with magnesium to remove sulphur. The magnesium combines with sulphur in the molten iron to form magnesium sulphide slag, which floats on top of the molten iron. The magnesium sulphide slag is tapped off. With sulphur removed, the molten iron is introduced to the oxygen furnace, also known as the converter. The oxygen furnace is tilted, and the molten iron at around 1300 degrees centigrade is poured into the oxygen furnace. Scrap may be loaded into the furnace and starts to melt in the heat of the molten iron. Oxygen, together with quicklime, CaO, is injected at high pressure into the molten iron via a water-cooled lance. Oxygen combines with carbon in the molten iron to form carbon monoxide which is further oxidized to carbon dioxide and escapes from the top of the furnace. This oxidation reaction, together with the other oxidation reactions to follow, is highly exothermic and assists melting of scrap. Thus, temperature is controlled by addition of oxygen for heating and addition of scrap for cooling. Oxygen combines with silicon to form silicon dioxide. Oxygen combines with manganese to form manganese oxide. Oxygen combines with phosphorus to form phosphorus pentoxide. The oxides combine with calcium in the quicklime to form their respective calcium oxides, which then float on top of the liquid steel, constituting molten slag. The lance is retracted, the furnace is tilted, and the molten slag is tapped off via the tap hole. The furnace is returned to its vertical position, and then tilted to the horizontal position where liquid steel is tapped off from the top of the furnace. During tapping, alloy additions may be made to control the steel chemistry.